Welcome back. In this video, we will be seeing how we can download and install the Visual Studio Code and set up Python in the Visual Studio Code. And we will run a Selenium Python script into the Visual Studio Code. So we'll see the steps one by one. So let's get started. So first and foremost thing is that you have to navigate to the code.visualstudio.com download and based on your operating system be it on windows mac or in linux you will be getting the respective downloads for that so just click with respect to your own uh, what you call operating system and visual studio is basically developed from microsoft and it is open source so open source means all the source code of this visual studio code is available uh, in the github so anybody can just clone that and they can change whatever they need but yeah at this moment we want to just leverage that visual studio code for our uh, python scripts to run there so for that first i need to click on this mac link so that it will come so in a moment so as you can see here it is showing as some time left so i will be cancelling because i already have that and then once it is a zip file once it is downloaded just double click on that and extract uh, double click to extract that and once you get that just open the visual studio code and which should look like this okay so you will see it's a very straightforward tool where uh, it is very user friendly as well so as you can see here you can customize the tools and languages like you can customize with uh, javascript for python for even java you can execute here and so many other things are there okay and you can even keep the settings as if you are using already veeam or sublime or atom uh, settings you can even do those settings into this visual studio code as well okay and so let's try to see a few of the options are available into the visual studio code so as you can see this is the folder view like if you click you will get the repo like whatever repo you have opened all those folder structures you can see here this is basically the search and then this is for source control like if you have git git extensions if you have downloaded then you can see all those things and then this is the deep bug or the run code view and then this is where the extension so specific to your uh, what do you call whatever the code you want to run so those uh, specific extensions you can install into this visual studio code to run your scripts okay so first thing is that we need to search for python and if you click it will list out so many options in this but if i click on this first one you can see it is coming from microsoft and you can see all of the available features here but at this moment we are not uh, going to see everything in detail so first thing is that let me just click on this install okay so the uh, python is installed into this one and there is, then there is another uh, what you call extension you can use that so that is code runner so if you go to this one no uh, yes so the first one if you go to this code runner dot run icon you should see so this is basically helpful to you can directly right click on that uh, code uh, code panel and then you can just say road uh, run code so based on what kind of extension of that file is there this code runner will be specific to that language it will run your code so that is one of the benefit of that so if you want to see more details into this you can go to uh, this section and you can see like you can see here it's a dot py file py file and you can just right click and run code it will run that specific code okay in that so that is the benefit of that so let me close this one and then go back to my folder view and here what i will do either you can clone a specific repository like if you have an existing repository you can just uh, uh, open that one open folder again if you have any specific folders you can just open that one okay so let me uh, do one thing uh, i will be adding a new folder here so let me go back to my home folder and here i will say and then i will say visual studio code underscore python some name i'm giving here and then i will click on open 
okay so as you can see uh, this is my project folder where i will be writing all my code and another thing here you can change all the color theme whatever font you need whether it is a lighter mode or a dark theme you can just do all other things here okay so let me do one thing and here few of the icons are there this is for creating a new file this is for creating a new folder at this moment let's create a new file and then just let's say sample pi dot py okay some name i'm giving okay now uh, you can see even the icon got changed here and here you can see on the bottom right corner you can see linter pylint is not installed so this is basically if you have any specific errors it will show there like if any variables are not declared but you are using so those kind of linting stuff it will be showing there so let's go ahead and install this extension as well okay so you can see so this is again one more good feature of this uh, visual studio code it has a built-in terminal so you need not to go to your system terminal to work on that so we have the extensions installed here everything so now let's go ahead and uh, do a small line of code to run so i will just say that uh, something here okay and then let's save and then right click so as you can see here it is giving you an option of run code but before going to this one if you would have seen our previous session uh, there we have seen uh, because i'm using mac operating system i can have multiple versions of python so let me show you that real quick so if i open the terminal here and if i say python and hyphen version I will be getting the python 2.7 but this is not the version we are going to use because this is the version which the system is using that so for that what i can do python 3 hyphen version then i will get the actual version or the latest version which is available on the python okay so the, uh, so i should be confident enough that while running it should be directing to the python 3 so for that if you see at uh, the bottom left corner you will see there is something called if i click on that it is giving me a few of the versions actually so which version i need to take so the current version as you would have seen in the terminal it is 3.8.5 okay so let's go ahead and select that so if you see it is already selected that if not then if you want to go with any other specific versions so all these versions are installed in my system so based on wherever you need it you can just click on that so because it is already selected for me so i will just leave as it is okay so let's go and escape this one and then right click and run code so as you can see it is printing that output another thing we can see like let's say that x equal to 10 i can even do print x okay and just save it and then click on uh, right click and do a run code okay so as you can see here it is printing the output here so if you want to increase the font what you can do you can go to the code uh, menu and go to the preferences and go to the settings and here you will get few of the settings so this is the user user means uh, like the entire visual studio code user you will be getting all the settings here everything whatever it is there like the page size auto all those options are here so and if you go to the workspace workspace is basically where we are writing our code so if i click on this font you will get the font size is 12 let me make it as 15 and then okay no need to save it seems yeah so as you can see the font increased a bit so depending on your uh, preference you can just change those font sizes okay so this is one thing now let's see how we can create a virtual environment because we have seen in pycharm there actually we have our own specific virtual environment which the which the pycharm is giving by default now how do we create in visual studio code because it is not coming out of box so for that actually if i go to the visual studio code site so if you see here it's giving me that option how you can create a virtual environment so if you are using mac operating system you have to use python 3 and then hyphen m 
venv that, that is the keyword and then dot venv so let's go ahead and click uh, copy this one and if you are using windows operating system there is no differentiation you will be getting python and it will redirect to the latest version of your python okay so let's go ahead and go to the visual studio code and let's go to the inbuilt terminal this time and then let's clear everything and then here press i will just copy paste this one so python 3 hyphen m virtual environment and if i enter it you can see it it has been created a new folder and it is a hidden folder dot venv and if i go inside this you can see the pip3 command is here so by using this pip3 i can you i can install any of the python libraries okay so virtual environment is created now let's do one thing let's activate this one so for that what i will be doing i will be doing source and then the name of my virtual environment folder so that is actually let's go to this one and change to v dot v e n v okay so that is my folder right so source and then the v e n v bin activate now if i click on this one it got activated okay so now let's install the python library for selenium so for that what i will do by pip install so for, for that actually we have this one so as you if you go to this uh, pypy.org you can see the command here so if i go here and then let's do one thing let's copy this one and instead of pip let's make it as pip3 okay and then as you can see i mean for just ignore at this moment for this uh, warning in the yellow color it is just saying that the pip version i can upgrade by using this particular command but at this moment i'm just ignoring so let's refresh this particular repo and see okay so if i expand this one this venv and then if you go to this library you can see here all the selenium related packages got installed i mean it got downloaded so you can use whatever you need from this selenium package and you can get started with so let's go ahead and do one thing let's create a new file again so you can just do a right click or else you can click on this icon okay and so let me do here one thing and then i will say that a sample selenium dot py okay and i have already a code base let me just quickly copy paste that one okay so let me save this one so we have already discussed about uh, each of this line how it is so if you are not sure then go to my previous video of where we have seen how you can install the python and set up the python into the mac machine and then run the selenium script but we can go uh, go quickly over this so from selenium this is basically the library which we have seen under this live leaf folder so if you go to this selenium you will be getting all the related stuff in that just import the web driver which we need to run our browser and then import time is not basically required i don't know why i did that but yes um oh okay Pro probably to wait that uh, wait for some amount of time we are using the time library and then we are using the by locator and this is just a sample application which we will be opening and clicking on this sign up form okay sign up link basically this one so by using the link text okay either you can use the by dot or else there is already a pre-built like find element underscore by underscore link text so you need not to give that by here another parameter you have to just give that a string okay again to run this code i can right click and then run this code so let me do that so the problem was actually when we are running from right click and run code it is not able to pick up this selenium actually so that's why what we can do we have another option right like python 3 space and then we can just choose the file name itself so if i give this entire thing and then you can see the chrome is now loading and it will wait and then click on the sign up form and then it will close the browser okay so that's how you can run that so i don't know maybe this code runner extension is not working properly but yes you can execute by using this command actually 
okay so this is one of the other way of uh, running your selenium python script in visual studio code so that's pretty much it for today so hope this helps and stay tuned do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching